Ed, my friend, I'll hold the microphone up to you. I tell us who, oh, oh, I got right there. So professional. Uh, tell us uh, who the winner <laughs> is uh, for this beautiful firearm from hdfirearms.com. All right, so yesterday we started the raffle for this uh, custom head-down rifle. It's a Triton 10. Signed by Alex Jones and myself. But only, only government should have that. Get it out. I'm calling the police. So Good Lord, he has a firearm. Unhand him. Eh? Guards, un disarm him immediately. This is a great rifle for you to have. <laughs> for your home purchase. The Godfather approves of this. Never once did you come by my house yeah. for a cup of coffee. You come over <laughs> hey, and you Harry, tell me. you going to do that skit. <laughs> are you doing that because Gucci Artie's coming in? I invited him to my wedding. Hey, you come to my wedding. Why are you asking so to do like a thing? That. You asked me to do murder on the day of my daughter's but, uh, wedding. Don't be wet. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> we fun. have this Triton 10 AR-15. And now how you had to enter was uh, donate $1,000 or more. I have gone over to... The area where the customer service is, and went and talked to the uh, people answering the phones. I got How a printout. How many people are in your pocket? Uh, 20. 20 people. 20, 20, 20, 20 different. Running for 20 this. different Should people. I get them and mix one them one up? Of a kind. Well, I I've a already mixed them all up. They're all in my pocket. I'm just going to reach in and grab Drum them. Drum roll, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for your donations. Thank you for helping fund the tip of the spare in the info wall. And also, you will be getting a uh, site as well on top. The oh, winner oh, oh, oh. is Brian Schnell. Brian Schnell, come on down. Da, 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 da. Well, you on the gun. Thank you so much, sir. Brian Schnell. Brian Schnell. We will be in contact with you. I'll get your email. I'll send it to Head Down Rifles, and they will be in contact with you to work out the legal matters to get this sent to your local dealer. Thank you for <laughs> supporting the info war. I'm Joe Biggs. All right, Brian Schnell. Watch your step, Joe. Good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's exciting. Oh. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm tired. It's amazing to see what we've done, what the viewers have done, what the listeners have done, what the affiliates have done, what the sponsors have done. Very exciting. And, hey, the satellite's already up. Affiliates from Houston to you name it are already turning it on. And thank God everything we've done has been successful so far, Leanne. Uh, in closing, we're about to play this clip. I'm going to leave and let you finish up the rest of the transmission and take these callers. As soon as you come back, we'll boom, boom, give me each about a minute and a half, and then Gucci already can uh, finish up and kind of take us out of here. Uh, but amazing, we're already 27 hours, 37 minutes uh, into this. Unbelievable. Uh, what's it been like for you being part of this uh, Money Bombers? This is your first one. Yeah. You've been here three years. We haven't done one in a while. No, it's been a lot of fun. It is, it is like a sleepover with all your best friends, and oh my it's, goodness. Been, it's been fun. <laughs> Uh, way too much food and snacks in the back. I've been grazing all day, but it has been so much fun talking to the fans and, you know, hearing their personal stories that they've experienced with the InfoWars Life products and taking calls. And it's it's just fun, kind of like a free for all. I think people got to see our personalities here and they love that. So we should go out. I thought about making this like reality TV oh, with God. all these camera feeds. People can hit different feeds and see what's going on. Yes. Choose your own adventure. They can see me blow up sometimes. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just turn the camera on. Well, it was a little shock, though. Like, oh. Exactly. <laughs> but, but continuing, is this what you thought when you got hired on three years ago? It's much more fun. Much more fun. Like, I, I understand all the haters and the trolls because I would hate me, too, you know? My life's pretty awesome. <laughs> I can't lie. Got a good Leanne, you are good awesome. Job. Everything you awesome. are even more awesomer. <laughs> now, seriously, uh, you know, Hillary can laugh all day, but we're on her tail. Oh. <laughs> that's the stuff of nightmares. Gosh, that's so awful. Should I give this to you like Excalibur? <laughs> I, I present no, no, the lady of the lake presents it here, and I will take it. <laughs> Out of the water comes your arm. <laughs> then I get it. Dun dun dun. Excalibur. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> With this weapon, ID defeat the enemy. Uh. All right. <laughs> that is I really hate, an obnoxious toy. I hate her so much. You don't love her. I just can't. You know, I can't do it. I In your gut, who do you think is going to win the 2016 election? <sighs> I don't know. My gut, it's all tied up in knots over that. We were talking about it earlier. David Knight thinks Trump's going to get the Trump and Biden. What do you think about that? I just hope Trump isn't suckering people along. But, you know, just talking about vaccines being dangerous is good. I appreciated that. I liked that he did not back down. And, and even though he knew it wasn't going to be popular with everyone out there, I, I appreciated that. I appreciated uh, Fiorina calling out, you know, the Planned Parenthood supporters and 
saying, I dare you to watch the, these videos. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see Speaking of great. the debate, Leanne, I just want to say great job. I'm going to go uh, shoot some news for the nightly news coming up tonight, get some stuff done. You're going to finish up here the next 20 minutes with Anthony Gisciardi, but first these callers. Uh, but right now, let's talk about the drug war while we switch seats with uh, the Gooch. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Bush. Forty years ago, I smoked Mary Juana. Uh, <laughs> here is that clip. Governor Christie recently said, quote, if you're getting high in Colorado today where marijuana has been legalized, enjoy it until January 2017 because I will enforce the federal laws against marijuana. Will you? I think one of the great problems and what the American people don't like about politics is hypocrisy. People who have one standard for others and not for, them, for themselves. There's at least one prominent example on the stage of someone who says they smoked pot in high school. And yet the people who are going to, to, to jail for this are poor people, often African Americans and often Hispanics. And yet the rich kids who use drugs aren't. I personally think that this is a crime for which the only victim is the individual. And I think that America has to take a different attitude. I'd like to see more rehabilitation and less incarceration. I'm a fan of the drug courts, which try to direct you back towards work and less time in jail. But the bottom line is the states, we say we like the 10th Amendment until we start talking about this. And I think the federal government's gone too far. I think that the war on drugs has had a racial outcome and really has been something that's really damaged our inner cities. Not only do the drugs damage them, we damage them again by incarcerating them and then preventing them from getting employment over time. So I don't think that the federal government should override the states. I believe in the 10th Amendment, and I really will say that the states are left to themselves. I want to give that... I want to give the person that you called a hypocrite uh, an opportunity to respond. Do you want to identify that person? Well, I think if we left it open, we could see how many people smoked pot in high school. <laughs> is there somebody you were specifically thinking of? Well, you know, the thing is... He was is talking that, about me. Yeah, I was talking That's about... That's what I thought, so, but well, I let, wanted let me, to say let, it. Well, I wanted to point, make me... it easier for him, yeah. okay. and I just did. Governor Bush, please. So 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana, uh, and I admit it. I'm sure that other people might have done it and may not want to say it in front of 25 million people. My mom's not happy that I just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. We have, we have a serious epidemic of drugs that goes way beyond marijuana. What goes on in Colorado, as far as I'm concerned, that should be a state decision. But if you look at the problem of drugs in this, in this society today, it's a serious problem. Rand, you know this because you're campaigning in New Hampshire like all of us, and you see the epidemic of heroin, the overdoses of heroin that's taking place. People's families are, are being torn apart. It is appropriate for the government to play a consistent role to be able to provide more treatment, more prevention. We're the state that has the most drug courts across every circuit. In, in, in Florida, their drug courts to give people a second chance. That's the best way to do this. But let, let me uh, respond. The thing is, is that in Florida, Governor Bush campaigned against medical marijuana. That means that a small child like Morgan Hintz that has 500 seizures a day is failing on nine traditional medications, is not allowed to use cannabis oil, and that if they attempt to do that in Florida, they will take the child away, they will put the parents in jail, and that's what that means. If you're against allowing people to use medical marijuana, you'll actually put them in jail. Ray, and actually, wrong, under the current circumstances, kids who had privilege like you do don't go to jail, but the poor kids in our inner, inner cities go to jail. I don't think that's fair, and I think that we need to acknowledge it, and it is hypocritical to still want to put poor people in jail. I don't want to put and, poor people in jail, Rand. Well, you my, vote, you, here's you, the deal. You, you oppose medical Here, marijuana? No, I did not oppose when the legislature passed the bill to deal with that very issue. That's the way to solve this problem. Medical marijuana on the ballot was opened up. It was a, there's a huge loophole. It was the first step towards getting to a Colorado place. And as a citizen of Florida, I voted no. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm Anthony Gucciardi sitting in here with Leanne McAdoo for Alex Jones. And I want to tell you that you now have less than 20 minutes to be part of history. Be part of history in the making with InfoWars Operation Money Bomb 2015. You have 20 minutes left to help us reach the goal of $1 million to reach 400 plus million people around the world with serious life-changing information. And the reason I'm such a proponent of this is I know that Alex doesn't take outside funding. He doesn't take loans. He doesn't get billions of dollars from government sources. He funds all this himself. And even with these products, he only takes a small percentage of profit. At the end of the day, this is really a game changer. It's a game changing event and you have less than 20 minutes, about 15 minutes right now 
at infowars.com forward slash money bomb and infowarsstore.com where your purchase funds the money bomb. We've got free shipping for the rest of the day, but also these specials are about to end in about 15 minutes. We've got 15% off the flagship Survival Shield X2, 30% off Super Mount Vitality, which is the biggest deal ever because it also has free shipping, 20% off Brain Force, 20% off Silver Bullet, 15% off Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, Oxy Powder, all of the flagship products at InfoWars Life that are super high quality nutraceuticals made by the top manufacturers, formulated by doctors and other chemists that really know what they're doing. You get super good products. You support the InfoWar. It's a win-win situation. It's a 360 win, as Alex says. You have less than 15 minutes. Call 1-888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. I'm going to go help Leanne after this with the phones as well. And, you know, it really is a powerful thing to be able to sit here on this broadcast today and talk about this because I've seen Alex go from saying, hey, let's launch a television station to actually having the satellite up in the air right now. And you can go on Infowars.com forward slash money bomb and look at the stations, look at the satellite information where he's already reaching across the United States and obviously has plans for six different stages to reach the entire globe. Now, we also want to talk about some news and some other information for the remainder of this broadcast, which, again, 15 minutes left for the InfoWars Money Bomb 2015. The clip we just played is pretty telling of how fake people are and how fake all these politicians in general are, like stick figures up there. And I think Trump uh, correctly calls them clowns because that's how I would describe them as well. They're entertainers to the audience of the United States of America, who unfortunately is being drafted into their ideology of complete jokery. And it reminds me also how in September, this month coming up in late September, the TPP is coming back. And Obama and other ministers are already pushing it and saying this time it's for real. We're going to push every possible thing we can through. And Leanne, I mean, it just reminds us once again, they're up there talking about marijuana. Oh, my God, Jeb Bush smoked marijuana one time. Yeah, right. Like that's the worst thing he's ever done. Right. As they push things like this in the real centerfold right past us. And they don't mention that in the debates. Nope. They want to know what people's Secret Service code name is going to be and who would they put on the $10 bill and things like that. And that, and that's, you're exactly right. They want to ram this through or the next guy comes in and keep us all distracted in the meantime with our entertainers. Well, that's the name of the game. It also reminds me of this new study here from the Washington Post that's being written about in the Washington Post. New analysis shows suicide links for teen on, teens on Paxil. Mischief, an old study claiming drug is safe. So what happened oh, was... mischief. About, what was it, 14, 15 years ago, they had a study that said Paxil, which is an antidepressant, it's anti-anxiety type drug, anti-psychotic. It's totally safe. Everything's fine. Give it to your teenagers. Give it to your kids. It'll doctors, help them. trust us. You know, it doesn't do anything wrong, even though I personally know people that have something called vitiligo, where, which is the Michael Jackson syndrome, where your skin turns completely white like a vampire from taking it. Wow. But it's totally safe. Yeah, it's just totally safe, guys. And then now they looked at it again 15, 16 years later, and they found that that study, the data that that study had was completely manipulated. And the original data actually showed all the side effects that it had, just like Eli Lilly in 1988 or something like that said that uh, uh, Prozac was safe. But they admitted later on that the same data that they said it was safe actually proved that it was going to kill people and cause suicide. So I bet that, that's the only time anything like that's ever happened. Oh, yeah. And then the Harvard uh, doctor researcher came out and said that it was like the human population being treated like guinea pigs by right. Eli Lilly. It's so the same thing over and over again. So then why is it such a big deal for Trump to say, hey, and, and keep in mind, Trump didn't even say vaccines are bad. Right. That's the funny thing. He didn't even say that. He said maybe they should be spaced out a little bit better. Right. Oh, my word. How oh. could it? How could he say that? Does. So, hey, we're going to take some calls. We're actually going to jump right into it. We're going to go to Mark in Florida. He says he wants to talk about the info war. What's up, Mark? Mr. Gucciardi, you're actually part of the story I'm going to tell. I am that, interested uh, to hear it then. <laughs> all right. Three years ago, I uh, kind of discovered Alex and kind of woke me up. I was just bartending, managing a bar that my family owned. Like 29 years old. What the hell am I going to do with my life? And uh, I discovered Alex. I started a Facebook page. I grew it to about 35,000 people. I saw we were moving about 4 million people a month around Facebook. I said, well, why not send them to my website? I didn't know anything about websites. Shot in the dark, started a website, started sending people to the website. I saw Mikhail Thalen was writing for uh, an online paper. I approached him. 
He started writing for me. Time goes 